Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's session, we'll see a one more concept in set theory that is functions between two different sets. So let's start the session. Functions. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the introduction to functions. That means what exactly the functions and what are the basic terminologies of these functions. So one thing before that, so in our previous session, we have studied about uh, sets, what is a set and what are the different set operations and also what are the different set properties. Now we'll go with these functions. These functions means the relation, one type of relation between different sets. So it's a type of relation. It's a type of relation between sets. And these functions are also called as mappings. Mappings or transformations. That means the relation between two different sets. Okay. So we'll see. Let A and B. Let A and B are two non-empty sets. two non-empty sets, then the mapping of an element small a which belongs to capital A to small b belongs to capital B is known as function so let us take some two different non empty sets so some sort of mapping will be there between the elements of both the sets right and one more thing important every element of a every element of capital a should have unique element unique element of B. So every element of set A should map with exactly one element with a set B. Okay. So then only we will be calling it as a functions. So this is most important. Right. Once again, I am repeating every element of A should be associated with exactly one element of set B. Right. And usually this is represented as represented as small f column a to b. So a function which is mapping between a to b. So this is the representation of functions. Okay. And also it can be represented with Venn diagrams. Let it be A and B. So 1, 2, A, B. Okay, this is a Venn diagrams. Or you can also represent it with graphs. Or you can also represent it with plots. So this function between two sets can be represented either by using a Venn diagrams. Venn diagrams means the sets will be represented in a circular format <coughs> and or a graph okay without the venn diagram so we can map both the elements of the sets so this is called a graph and also it can be represented by using a plots okay plots so usually we will represent this function by venn diagrams that means representing the sets with a circular format yes now let us see an example for these functions. So what exactly the function mean and what doesn't uh, use the function, right? So let us take two elements, I mean two sets, a non-empty sets. So we will represent the set with Venn diagrams, right? So let it be A and B, two sets. A is having some A, B, C and B is having one, two and three. What we are saying, every element of A should be mapped or associated with 
at least one element sorry exactly one element with b so i am mapping here see this is a function okay and you can observe every element of a that means we are having three elements a b c is associated with exactly one element with b so a is associated with only one element one b is associated with one element three c is associated with one element two so this is a function example for function example for function and usually it will be represented with a connection between a and b with the arrow mark and labeling it with f labeling it with f so we'll take one more example here <coughs> we'll take one more example see let us take the same elements let us take the same elements so a b c 1 2 3 So let us take this is a function and it is a and it is b. Now you can observe the definition of function means every element of a should associate with exactly one element. So this is not a function, not even a function. Why? Because here a is associated with 1 and 2. That means a is, had, is associated with two elements. That should not happen. Right, every element of A should be associated with exactly one element. So this is not a function. Hope you understood, right? And one more example. One more example. So I am showing all the possibilities, right? So let us take the same sets. A, B, C, one, two, three, and. Uh, See, if the function is in this way, so we can say this is a function because every element, the definition of function is every element of A should be associated with exactly one element of B. So A is associated with 1, B is associated with 2, and C is associated with 2. So every element of a is associated with only exactly one element so you can observe the elements of a should not be associated with the multiple elements of b that's the one thing okay if it doesn't happen we can say it is a function so this is a function yes it is a valid function it's a valid function it's a valid function because every element of a is associated with exactly one element so what about this particular three which has been not associated with a that doesn't matter so we have to take care that elements of a should be associated with exactly one element on b if the element left over in b that is no problem and one more example let us take here So I'll take A, B, and C, 1, 2, and 3. See, what about this one? And if this is a one case, and this is not valid function, okay, not a valid function because here C doesn't associate it with any one of the element of set B. Okay, C doesn't have any association with any element of B. So that does that should doesn't happen. So every element of A should be associated with exactly one element. So this is also not valid function. Right? Hope you understood the different cases which is a valid function and which is a not valid function. So even though this is a valid function because a is associated with 1, B is associated with 2, C is associated with 3. So this is also a valid function. So one more example. So just now we have seen this example. So let us take this A, this is as B and there is a function associated with this one. So A to B and B to C and C to 1. So 
you can observe this is a valid function valid function right yes now we'll see a different terminologies now you i think you are all aware about what is a function what is the definition of function and which we are calling it as a valid functions and invalid functions now you can see this example so first let us check whether this is a valid function or not so we are having the elements a is associated with 2 b is associated with 3 and c it's associated with 1 so every element of a set a okay so this is set a this is set b so every, every element of a is associated with exactly one element on p now a is called as a is called as domain of function f domain of function f and this is called codomain of function f a is called a domain of function f and b is called a codomain because so here we are having a function f a to b a to b okay now we will say a as a domain and b as a codomain a as domain and b as a codomain and whatever the elements of a for example here in this example you will be saying that <coughs> 2 is an image for small a okay 2 is associated with a right so we will be calling 2 as an image for a similarly 3 is an image image for b similarly 1 is an image for c okay so we will be calling all these elements 2 3 1 all are images for the elements of set a now reverse process here a is pre-image pre-image for 2 b is pre-image for 3 and c is pre-image for 1 so all the elements of codomain will becomes the images for the elements of domain and all the elements of domain will become the pre images for the elements of codomain so you are aware about now the domain what is a domain next codomain image and pre image pre image so all these things we have read studied right and now there is a one more terminology which is called as a range range so range means the number of elements associated in set b so here the range are what are the elements associated for a 1 2 and 3 so 1 comma 2 comma 3 are the range of this particular function for example let us take i am erasing this one let us take one more example for function and let us understand what exactly means the range okay yeah so let us take set a and set b which is associated with a function f a b c 1 2 3 and let us check see is it a function so let us check all the elements of a are associated a is also having an out, out link b is having a link c is having a link so it's a function now we have to check whether all the three elements are having a unique elements of b a is having b one b is having two c is having three so no single element of a is having a multiple associations so this is a valid function 
valid function right so what is the range for this function what is the range for this function so the range for this function is so all the three elements of a are associated with only two elements of b one is one and two so the range becomes one comma two so you should not include three because three is not associated with any one of the element of a so this function range is only one and two and if this link is modified in such a way so if c is mapped to three then automatically we can say the range is one two three okay if it is a valid function we can find out the range that means how many elements are associated to the element uh, set a right so this is how we will be finding the range so hope you understood what exactly the function means and what are the different terminologies of these functions and how the function can be represented so in this session we have seen what is a domain what is a codomain what is a image pre image range function what is a function and how it will be represented right so let's stop here and in our next session we'll see different types of functions there are different types of functions so we'll see what are the different types of functions in our further sessions right yes so let's stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this introduction feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much